Hey, what's up guys? All right, so today I'm going to show you how I took my Super Nintendo Classic Edition and I put those Nintendo 64 games on it, the Sega Genesis games, the Game Boy games. This is extremely easy. This is also kind of assuming you've already modded your system using HackG and you already know how to put other Super Nintendo games on it, which is extremely easy. I'll give you a quick rundown, but if not, you're going to want to download this HackG if you've never done this before, the newest version. It's 2.21. I'll put the link to it in the description. Now, to put all the other games on your system, you're going to need to download this RetroArch, and you're going to want RetroArch with cores. You're going to want this zip file right here. I'll put the link to this also in the description. Okay, so now assuming you've already modded your system and you already have HackG, here it is. I'm going to give a very quick rundown if you've never done it. Uh, it should be enough to give you the gist of it. Basically, here's this program, HackG. Uh, when you first time you open it, it's going to ask you what system you have. You're going to click Super Nintendo Classic Edition. And then here, you're going to go to Dump Kernel. This is your kernel right here. So it's going to save your stock one. You're going to want to save it to your desktop and put it somewhere where you don't lose it. In case there's ever an error, you can just reload it and go back to stock settings. But anyways, then you're going to want to go to Flash Custom Kernel. And then this is your custom kernel right here. You notice I have tons and tons of games. And I can just basically... Select the ones I want to put on there and synchronize it with my Super Nintendo Classic Edition, and they're on there. But if you try to do this without the RetroArch, none of the games for like 64, Sega Genesis, none of them will actually play. Okay, now the trick to getting them to play, this is extremely easy. So you got your RetroArch. Um, let's just close this. Okay, so you're just going to drag and drop your RetroArch like you're dragging and dropping a ROM into there. The exact same thing, okay? And then this, you notice it has like... Uh, Sega Genesis Plus and all these other systems. So now these are all going to play on there. And then if you click this extra space right here, you're also going to get an extra 50 megabytes. So you're going to be able to store more games on there. It is extremely experimental, or sorry, experimental, but yeah, I haven't seen any problems. I've had it on for since I got my system and mine's working fine. Then you're going to have to follow, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to cancel that because I'm not actually doing that also too if you don't know how to put the thumbnails on you just right click get the box out you can do a bunch at once um, or you can do one at a time however you want now and then once that you have all your games on there that's really all there is to it you hit synchronize bada bing bada boom and you're good to go now one thing a lot of people didn't go over is when you download your roms i can't tell you guys where to get them but it's extremely easy just google super nintendo roms or sega genesis roms um, or full ROM packs, you know, or whatever. But let me show you, like, for, like, the 64 ones. Now, if I just go and drag one of these over, it's not going to work. Now, the trick to it working is, is really, let's say, like, GoldenEye, for instance. If I just drag this whole GoldenEye folder, it'll, like, compress it all, and it, it won't work. Notice, now, in this GoldenEye folder, there's tons of different ones. There, there's tons. I want the one that ends... In E, most of the time it's the top one. You see, there's a couple different ones that end in E, but this is the one I want. Is this one right here? Okay. Um, let me show you a different example, and one that won't have quite as many. So let's go to. Uh, let's say Knockout Kings. Okay, say Knockout Kings. Okay, if I want to drag, same thing. If I drag that folder over, it won't work. Or if I hit Add More Games and click on, click on the original, just this, it won't work. I have to go in here. And I only want this one, this one that actually has the data in it. Okay, so you just drag that one. And if you're having problems with your games, you know, maybe you're, you put a second game on there, it's not working. Your folder probably had more than one, and you just needed that one. It, it's usually the one that ends in E. Uh, I don't know if that stands for, like, emulated or what. But, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can hold quite a few games on your system. You notice down here. It'll tell you. I don't have mine plugged in right now, so that's why it's all question marks. But when it's plugged in, you know, it'll tell you. Also, too, if your game is two-player, sometimes the, it won't come up as two-player over here. So just click the two-player, and it'll save it in the settings, and it'll all, you know, it'll all work good and everything. So, yeah, this is very easy. Uh, I hope that helped. I know this is a quick video. Sorry about my voice, guys. I am extremely sick. That's why I didn't do my regular videos today. I can't really be in camera because I'm just really, really under the weather. So I hope you guys are feeling better than me. And it'd be a great day to, you know, sit inside and play some video games because that's all I can do today, really. And, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope it helped. 
And until next time, I guess I'll just see you later.